Guys, welcome back to the Drone Camps channel. Today I have a brand new review and build video of the Recon 10. This is a long range oversized than what we typically see the seven inch class series. And seven inch has been huge on my channel for almost 10 years and people love long range on our channel. So um, today it's a delight and a treat for me to be able to build this up for you. A lot of our guys have been talking about this in the Drone Camps Discord. So if you're interested in long range, be sure to join our Drone Camps Discord. I'll put that link in the video description. And I have to let you know, I want to update you if you're wondering what's out there right now for long range. What can you get? Uh, types of frames, bind flies, and things like that. I'm going to put some of the best ones that you can get currently as far as a cheap 7-inch goes. That would be the Darwin FPV 7-inch that we have. Uh, I will put that link in there. Also, the iFlight uh, brand new 10-inch analog that just came out. And the brand new Croc 75 by GEPRC. That one's also a new one. And it seems that Recon FPV is getting in the game too with their long-range 10-inch. This is the Recon 10 ultralight frame. It's called the Recon 10 Pro. It's about $109. Um, and you know, it's, I think it's fairly priced for how big this is. So now I'm going to be looking for some uh, 10 inch supported motors and a flight controller. I'm probably going to put like a Blitz F7 on here and an O3 camera up front. So it is compatible with the O3. I also suggest using the crossbars that come along with it. That will take out some of the vibration from such large 10 inch props which you're absolutely going to need to install. They go, they go on the very bottom, just like that. But let's go ahead and without further ado, uh, let's build this quad up together and, and just enjoy this build experience. Sit back, relax, and check out something you may not have seen before, a 10-inch long-range quad. All right, guys, let me show you what comes in the box. Again, this drone is $109.99 for this frame kit. So... If you build your own, it will be cheaper than trying to buy it, bind and fly. Um, and there's not yet a bind and fly available for the Recon 10 Pro uh, LR. So first thing you get is the frame assembly guide, which is pretty nice. It's an exploded view of everything you need for assembling this drone. And I love putting together large drones. It's just a lot easier to build something much larger. Um, now the first bag we have here is all the accessories, the straps, the TPU stuff, the grommets, the soft mounts, and it looks like some nice gold hardware in here as well. We'll check that out in a sec, but I wanted to show you the arms. <laughs> the Recon 10, it is built to be lightweight, but it's also built to be pretty durable. These are eight millimeter carbon arms. Uh, so these are much larger and thicker than any other arms that you've probably seen on the channel almost in the past 10 years on drone camps. Um, so these are pretty beasty, and that's what really sets these 10 inch apart from uh, even the seven inch drones. They're just so much more massive looking. Um, once we get this built up, you'll see what I'm talking about, but they also went three millimeter on the top and bottom plates to kind of reduce some of the, the weight of this large quad. So I, I think that's cool too. And we also have two strut supports that go front to back. These are optional. If you want to add these, you can. And we have on the very bottom of this box, nicely packaged bottom and top plate for our sandwich construction. So let's go ahead and put the frame together. Let me show you how it goes together. All right, guys, it's pretty simple to put this frame together, but this will really help you get started. This is the bottom plate, the two arms in the back, and the two arms in the front. The first thing you're going to do is grab an M4 driver and the M4 16 millimeter bolts. These are these ones right here. And this is going to be your top plate of the bottom base. Now this part goes toward the back, and this part on the bottom of the base plate goes forward like this. We're just going to set this right over here, and we're going to drive these bolts in through the top on these four spots right here. Now you can kind of keep them loose as you're tightening them up because you're going to put more bolts in here a little bit later, but this is pretty much the start of it right here. You just want to make sure your next holes are lined up here and here. And so these M4 16 millimeter bolts will go in these four spots. And again, you want to make sure that these parts here are facing downwards on the quad. Now go ahead and grab your M3 driver and set that up. Grab your M3 30 millimeter post here. These are for the front of the quad, as well as your M3 8 millimeter bolts. We're going to put those through the bottom, and they already have Loctite on them. 
And you can start these out by hand, and then I just go ahead and finish it up with a driver and tighten them until they're nice and snug and don't over tighten as always. Next, go ahead and grab your two side plates, and these are just going to snap down into the frame just like this and stay there. And next up, we're going to put in the rest of our standoffs. Now we're going to go ahead and put our four corner posts on, and we're going to put two up front, two in the back, and we're going to put the shorter ones here and here. So now I have those two front standoffs just behind the camera mount installed, and those are the M3 20 millimeter bolts that go through right here just on the inside of these main bolts. And on the back, we're gonna use shorter M3 eight millimeter hardware and just go ahead and grab one of your standoffs. These are the uh, M3 by 20s as mine are labeled. It seems to be different on the website. It says M3 18 millimeter on the website. So uh, we're just gonna go and kind of see how this goes together. Now go ahead and do the next one over and you can just kind of tighten them down with your fingers. And if they feel tight, maybe just flip it over and use the other side. Tighten it down until it hits the carbon and then go ahead and grab your driver and just gently seat it into place. Don't over tighten at this point. Now my next two bolts are going to be in the center part of this stack. So we're going to go ahead and put these M3 30 millimeter bolts through this spot right here and this spot right here. So these two spots right here will make the next part of our assembly. And make sure that you kind of loosen up your M4 bolts right there, and it'll let this arm move more freely so that you can line it up properly when you're trying to drive this through. It makes it a lot easier. So now at this point in your build, you should have these two M3 30 millimeter bolts through, and go ahead and take your next standoff and screw it down by hand on both of those screws. And then what you're gonna do is go ahead and tighten it up with your M3 driver, just hold it and gently tighten it up. And that should be nice and snug. Okay, now we're getting to the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and put on some TPU accessories. This is your buzzer mount right here. And this goes on the front two posts up close to the camera. I'm gonna push those on top of the standoffs all the way down. And you have your 03 mount right here. They also give you a mount for something like the air unit as well. You can see it's a little bit bigger, but I'm going to use this 03 unit here. It's just going to press down on the back right here first. And we're going to put it on just like this. Push that all the way down. And you want to make sure it's flush with the bottom plate on the front and the back. And your GPS unit is going to go right on top of here right over top of this mount. So once you have that on there, we're gonna put one more piece on. Now go ahead and grab this GPS unit piece and put it on the back just like this and press down until you see that it goes closer to being flush. And go ahead and grab this piece and this piece is gonna go on just like this, right over top of these two. Push down until it's nice and firm. And that looks pretty good. Now at this point, go ahead and grab those little TPU inserts that you see here that look like this. And these are just some extra placement for bringing in and out your antenna post. If you're using dual antennas, you can use these. If not, you can come out the singular post hole right here. Now at this point in the build, you're probably just gonna go ahead and mount your flight controller and run your motors out to the end of the arms and install your crossbars if you want to. Um, but at this point in my build video, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my M3 hardware here. This is the M3 by eight hardware. It's gonna put the top plate on. I'm just gonna show you what the top plate looks like once it's on the drone. So at this point, I have pretty much have the first four bolts in and I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit longer screws on the front four bolts for the GoPro mount. These are the M3 10 millimeter bolts. And you should put a little bit of Loctite on these because I don't see any Loctite. So where you don't see any blue Loctite, make sure you do that. So just go ahead and grab your quad and pick it up and drive in your first bolt here through. And this is just for demonstration. This is not how it's going to end up uh, finally for the final build. So um, again, like make sure you're using Loctite on yours. But that should seat quite nicely. I'm just going to screw it down until it goes nice and firm. And this TPU mount does look like it has kind of a recessed spot for the bolts. So those will kind of be flush mount 
little nicer than what I've seen just sitting on the top. This looks kind of nice there. And that one's in, so you can see that one's ready to go. It's going to turn it and line it up for the next three bolts. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. And you know, it seems intimidating by how large this thing looks on the website, but this is definitely not something you want to do for your first build. Um, just to give my guys who are watching this some advice, um, obviously working with 10 inch propellers and much larger motors, you want to be super careful um, when you're setting this up and testing it. Um, definitely props off on the bench with this one indoors because this could eat your face off literally. Um, you want to be super careful when you're doing big builds, but also inside the box, I got some extra rear TPU accessories. If you're not using GPS, you can use these for different types of setups. They also have this one as well. And this is essentially a mortal T setup if you're using Crossfire. You can install these on the back. So that's kind of nice that they have those. They also have a front plate, which I forgot to put on, but you want to mount that just underneath the front here. Uh, when you put these two bolts in right here, which I'm going to do, so that I have extra bumper protection there. And I will also put some links down below for um, different large style long range quads. If that's what you're looking for right now, I just want to give you an updated list of what's out there as far as the cheap version of a 7 inch that you can get. I'm going to put a link to this frame as well as the brand new Gap RC75 that's coming out. That frame kit's going to be super hot with our guys and the brand new um, iFlight 10 inch frame as well. So there's a bunch of 10 inch quads coming out right now and it seems to be kind of the hot new thing. And if you've never flown a 10 inch before, I have to tell you like, as you get larger and larger when you're flying multi-rotors, it just becomes more, it's, it's kind of like a larger airplane. The larger they are, the better they fly when you want to do some distance flying. It's just bigger, smoother, and it feels great in the air. One of the big things about this frame too, if you're still here hanging out in this review and this kind of build video, good for you because this frame is built to carry two batteries. Uh, it is built to be able to put a battery on the top. You can run something as, as large as a 4S5000 or even a 6S5000 uh, on the very bottom. You can also mount a battery across the bottom of this quad. Uh, you can put your bumpers for your 3M sticky tape on the top and you can put one on the bottom there. They include two. So um, make sure that your battery is nice and snug with the two straps that they give you and you should be good to go. But uh, I'm expecting like maybe when we do get it set up, I'm expecting a, a 30 minute plus flight time out of this quad. So um, a dual battery setup could give us the ultimate long range experience. And we've been doing it a long time on this channel and I really enjoy it. Um, I do suggest if you're going to build this quad, be sure to use the struts to give it some extra uh, dampening on this frame because these motors are going to create a lot of vibration to your camera. So the larger you go also, the more vibration you have from much larger uh, propellers on here. So um, it's just something that may be, have to t be tuned, but we'll see how the stock beta flight tune goes on this quad as we build this up with a flight controller and probably an O3 system on here. And I'll let you know how it does. Uh, but if you'd like to pick one up, again, all the links are down below. You can see the cheapest large quads to get right now and um, some of the more premium ones as well. I'm gonna put them all down in the video description. But I appreciate you watching my videos as always and checking out what's new. I think this thing is a beast. And uh, if you decide to grab one, let me know. It's, it's, it's pretty, pretty awesome. We are loving the 10 inch frame craze inside the drone camps discord. So all the guys are talking about large scale right now. So you should definitely jump into the drone camps discord. That's where we're all hanging out talking about FPB seven days a week, uh, 24 hours a day. It's a lot of fun, but I'm Justin Davis guys. Take care and thanks for hanging out. I'll see you on the next one.